this quite literally means that I have been in the same vicinity as someone who is now the president of my motherland. Like this man is leading Armenia. <laughs> Greetings comrades, it is I, Miriam, the only Miriam, and thank you so much for tuning in. This video was not planned whatsoever. What I'm about to share, I found out quite literally not even 30 minutes ago. For those who don't know, Armenia just apparently got a new president. You see, we have a prime minister who is Nikol Pashinyan, as most people know, but we also do have a president. We also do have some sort of parliamental system. I'll later explain the entire governmental structure of Armenia, but to give a short synopsis, our government is a lot like the governments of many Eastern European or ex-Soviet countries in a sense where it is quite literally run like a mafia. Me personally, I don't care who's in charge as long as they're protecting our lands, our people, our culture, and not just their salaries. So I heard a few weeks ago that we got a new president. And I said, whatever, because at this point I am so desensitized to all the crazy things that go on with our government and in the caucuses in general. But I do remember that I was discussing with a friend how we were really hoping that things would turn around and that we were worried that these sorts of new changes to our government would really not make that big of a difference. So flash forward a few weeks later to today, I was having dinner just now with my mother and out of nowhere, she shares that apparently this new president of Armenia lived in the same apartment complex as my father and my grandparents. The woman was too stunned to speak. Almost all Armenians live in these Soviet-style commie blocks and such, and because of our culture we are very communal people, and people often get to know their neighbors very well, which is something that isn't very typical here in America. And I don't think I've shared this on this channel, but despite living in the United States of America, I've been to Armenia around 10 times. I even attended school there for short periods of time, but that's a spiel for another video. I did know that apparently there was this businessman or some leader of this either like tech-related or science-related business or enterprise who was half Chinese and half Armenian, David Yan or David Yan, I believe, and he apparently also lived in this apartment complex of my grandparents. And here's the deal. Every time that we visited Armenia, we would stay with my paternal grandparents in their apartment, which is located in Yerevan, the capital city. Americans are always so shocked when I share this, but it's a very normal thing to do when you're visiting your Armenian family, to stay with them. And obviously my father and my uncle grew up in that same apartment complex as well. But we found out that this man indeed did live there because my father kept saying, wow, he looks so familiar. I just, I don't know why, but he does. And one of his friends recently contacted him and said, listen, this new president of Armenia literally, quite literally lived in the same building as us. My father was like, oh, that's how I know him. And now the both of them are trying to figure out which floor this man who is now the president lived on. He is possibly the most powerful man there. I mean, I really don't know what to make of this. This just goes to show that not only is this world very small, but it seems as though the Armenian world is even smaller. Also, I know I like haven't interacted with this man, but I suppose I could say that I met him or that I indirectly did or something of that nature. I mean, let's be honest, all Armenians are related. Like, we all are cousins with the Kardashians. Anyways, comrades, we have reached the end of this video. This is likely going to be my shortest video ever, <laughs> ever. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Click on the zangak or the bell icon to receive notifications from this channel. And go ahead and comment down below any crazy Armenia or Armenian related stories you all would like to share. I'd love to hear them.